Yo, what's up? This is Coolio with the flow, a.k.a. Mr. Burns, C.K.A. The Ghetto Gourmet, better known as C. Dickums. Oh, yeah, we about to rock the box. Freestyle one-on-one on G4 TV. Shaka Zulu. My Nia Jerez in the spot. Shaka Zulu. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's Jerez in the house, yeah. And I would spit, but I'ma let a legend do it. Cause I'm a jazz cat. And he's still here. And you still gon' fear. Get him, get him, get him. Coolio rules, what y'all do? On G4, here I go. Coolio rules, for all y'all fools, I'ma show you how I do. Yeah, it's my turn. Put that on the floor and watch it burn for hoes concerned i'm calling plays from the booth like my name was chick hearn hoes gotta learn hoes gotta earn get that money and pay mr burns bitch knock them tricks out like tommy hearns ass is popping he's shaking look i know she messing she danced jamaican fuck that niggas wanna rush that niggas wanna touch that niggas where your bucks at uh you can't be with my cargo, I'm like the foe, setting up a whole embargo. Pay the piper or meet the pistol. Y'all disco ass niggas get cooked like crystal. I'm drunk as f in the club and it ain't off Cisco. I got holes like the count in Monte Cristo. I'm cold with mine, got soul with mine. Got Tennessee notes and fears to fold with mine. Roll dubs on mine, got love on mine. Ain't no marks, buses, and subs and scrubs on mine. Put that shine on mine, ready to ride on mine. But a nigga can't bling and floss all the time. I creep with mine, I'm deep with mine. Impressive, check the rest, cause I never fell asleep with mine. He thought he was an antelope, but couldn't leap my line. Hard to find, young punk, I take your nine. Put yourself in a bomb. With us, put yourself on the line with us. Give me your pieces, empty your pockets, that's fine with us. Don't want a 50 cow with us, okay, corral with us. I try to grab a microphone and unstyle with us. It's rowdy and wild with us. Drink and smoke and get loud with us. Dime pieces pose to get butt naked and smile for us. In God we trust, so don't fuss. Coolio rules for all y'all fools. I'm still here, I'm still clear. Y'all better fear. That. It's a new year, 08, 09, 010. It's my friend Jay. Uh, we in the booth like fuck it. Hey, put my. I ain't gonna say that. Suck it. Shaka Zulu. Zulu, what do you do? Hey, Shaka Zulu. Shaka Zulu. Hey, Shaka Zulu, what do you do? At this point in my life, I mean, I rap because I like to rap. I don't rap because I have to. I mean, I'm doing so many other things in my life right now. I grew up in Compton, California. Some cats from Brownsville, New York, moved across the street from me. And one of them was a DJ, DJ D. And I saw them, like, do this party, and, like, you know, he was spinning. I was just fascinated by him cutting the records back and forth. I used to sit in there and just watch them, watch them rap. And, you know, come to find out that the cats that was rapping, they were saying raps. Uh, they were saying uh, verses from other cats in New York that I did I never heard of of course and they were spitting other people's verses. I, I didn't know that though. But one day when we was at somebody's house, this dude Juan it was a pretty boy. You know, I wasn't a pretty boy. Uh, my lips was this big when I was like twelve. So you can imagine big head, big lips, small body, no hoes. <laughs> he spit this little verse or whatever and he was like, How you like that? Like that's dope, that's dope. You like that? I was like, I said that's all right. He said, it's all right. He said, man, that's dope. I said, nah. I said, man, well, I can write something like that in 10 minutes. He said, well, do it then. Bow, grabbed a pen, wrote it, and spit it right there. First time in my life. First time, that's the first time I ever got on the mic. And it came so natural to me that I knew I was an MC instantly. So from that day forward, I started writing every day. I ended a talent show, and me and my boy Spoon, entered it and we won. We used to go around to all these high schools and all these different places and we would, we would perform. And we had a whole program and based on how good your performance was, that's who got to close the show. After about four or five shows, we was closing the show every week. Started doing stuff with Dub C when we came to Mad Circle. Well, first it was low profile. Then we became the Mad Circle. 
and um, Dub started going on the road with, with Ice Cube, him and Crazy Tune, and I kind of got left. You know, I didn't go on the road with Cube, I, you know, I was all alone, so of course I was angry. So that anger fueled my creativity even more, and I just started writing it. You know, I never considered myself a gangster rapper. I just started rapping more about the streets and whatever, whatever. Everybody was everything then. You wrote and you freestyle back then. I mean, there was no distinction really between the two. If you were an MC, you were an MC. You, 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 you freestyled and you wrote. I'm a writer. You know, I freestyle decent. I like to have my stuff be perfect. So I, I don't really, you know, freestyling ain't, is not my thing. I just freestyle because I can and because, you know, sometimes you have to because people want to see you freestyle. They just want to see if you can do it. I respect freestyle cats. Now, usually if somebody, you know, is talking about freestyling or whatever, you know, I usually have my crew with me. I say, get them, you know, y'all freestyle with them. Man, I'm an I'm a OG. I don't got to freestyle with you. You know, you go, go, go platinum. As a matter of fact, don't, 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 you don't have to win a Grammy. Go win a, go win a, a Soul Train Award and come talk to me. You know what I'm saying? 